Oh, there's a crazy little shack beyond the tracks. And everybody calls it the sugar shack. Well, it's just a coffee house and it's made out of wood. Espresso coffee tastes mighty good. That's not the reason why I gotta get back up to that sugar shack. Well, hey guys, it's that time of the year at the Jack Homestead. This here is a red maple tree. Tapping season has begun. So we're going to put a couple of test taps, actually. Um, I got six or eight, eight uh, buckets out here today. Uh, I'm going to do a test run uh, because the weather for the next, oh God, long range forecast. Weather's going to be in the 30s to 40s, almost into the 50s during the day, and down below freezing at night, which is what you need to have sap run. So let's get started, and uh, we'll talk about how to tap a tree. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So <clears throat> the first thing I do is you try to look up there to see if you can find a a trunk or a limb or something or a root down here at the bottom which there is a root right here so I'm gonna tap this right here Need a little stick. Clean it out. Oh, it's running. Let me bring it over here and show you guys. It's January 8th, I believe. And it is running. If I can find it here. Hang on, guys. Right there. See, it is running. So it's. Sorry about blocking the view. You hear how that was bouncing off? So the sap is running, guys. All right, we're going to head over to the next tree. Let's go check it out. Now, uh, I get these buckets from my local bakery, and because uh, they're free, <laughs> and this free is for me. So, all right, we're gonna tap this one. After I get this lid off, because they can be a bugger to get off sometimes. There we go. Now, if you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's an old tap here. So I want to stay three inches to the side of that, six to eight inches from the from the top or the bottom. 
So we're going to go We're going to go right here today. We want to do a slight angle. Oh, here she comes. You'll hear it change. The change, it, the, the hammer will actually bounce. See how it bounces off? Three, number two. Trees three and four. And the sap is running out of both of these. Get my stick so I can clean them out. Let's go. There we go. Ooh, that one's a, that one's a good one. <sighs> Looks like tomorrow I might be putting out some more. Getting them out. <sighs> oh, listen. Can you hear that, guys? That's music right there to a sugar maker. What's that? I'm done. Can you me? Uh, if you want to come out, yeah, sure.
Listen as you walk this way. Listen. Listen. Yeah, it's running good. Hear it? I do. Just look at. Is it on? Wow. Are you filming? Yes. Remember, again, you just want to put it in there till it stops. Yep. Right. Ooh, yes, hopefully. We'll see. Can you grab that camera? Sure Follow me this way. Can I stop Just pull it back. Some flow faster than others. I hope that's not flowing like that. Other no. one. The other one was just dripping away. Yeah. I just, when I put my lids on, I try to line these up with this end so the lid will go on and then just push down. Oh, you might want to redo that one. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> All right, here comes the, I got two more to do, guys. For now. For now. <laughs> So you remember what I said uh, about when you when you tap the tree. See this one here split because I tapped it in too far, just a little bit. So that damages a tree, but it'll heal. It's already started. It's healed over. This was from last year. So you remember, you want to go three inches to either side, six to eight inches above, or six to eight inches below. So there's a nice root root system on that side. So I'm going to come over here on this side and get it right here. Remember, about two to two and a half inches, and you don't want to go all the way into the heartwood. So... This one's running too, so that's good. You usually find me a stick. Then clean the hole out a little bit, make sure there's no debris in there to block the to block the <coughs> orifices that are in here. See, there's orifices in here. That's how the sap is collected. Oh, we got a little bit of stuff there. Remember, you just want to. See how that bounces off? Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, as far as you want to go with that. Ooh, this is a gusher. <laughs> Listen to that. Can you guys hear that? I can see it. That's good. Well, listen, hang on a minute. I'm going to take this off so Mrs. you can hear Mrs. Jack better. You're okay. Still good? Yep. Pop 
unicorns just following you around yes, yelling. She is. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's got to go. That's got to get cut out. <laughs> oh my God. that my duckies are yelling <laughs> oh, they're just yelling Guys. Look at that, here. that's like a faucet. I don't know if you can see on. There you go. Just the running. Uh oh, there's staples. Oh, I think that's from where we, we had, had the fence. chicken, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Remember, go in as far as that goes. And that, that'll bounce. See how that bounces off? Plus the noise is different. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have a problem, Houston. I grabbed a bucket that doesn't have a hole in the side. I'll have to run down and get another one, so. All right. A hole in the side? So, what do you mean? A hole for the side. There's a hole right there. Yeah, but that's for a tube, for a oh. drop line. Oh, oh. So I'm going to run down, uh, get another bucket. Mrs. Jack can videotape a little bit, get some of that, and I'll put it in the video, and I'll be right back, guys. They only have a small area because it's still frozen. Well, they hear me talking, so they stopped what they were doing. I don't know where Louie's going, but he's going on an adventure. Nope, oh, he's coming back. Popcorn's still. Oh, he's a really running. Oh. <laughs> the dog yelled at him. <laughs> He's getting a drink. Did you hear them yelling at Louie because he ran around? know how to zoom out. Oh. All right, guys. So I use a paddle bit, and I'll. Uh, what I'll do is see. I got a drop line in there. Some of these I'll put double. And 
da. Bada boom, bada bing. We got sap running, guys. Uh, so I'm going to take advantage of this. I think I'm going to put out as many as I can today. Uh, maybe I can get Mrs. Jack to come with me. We'll see. I have no problem with that until 4 o'clock. <laughs> Eagles are on. <laughs> but if you hear that noise, yep. that's the sweet music of a sugar maker likes to hear. And I'll throw in my music the sugar shack into that video.
guys. I got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pails out. <clears throat> and each every tree that I've tapped so far is running. It's January 9th, 2023, guys. Uh, hopefully I can get enough this weekend. I'll be able to cook some down. So stay tuned, fellas and ladies. And all my little sugar sugar uh, sugar farmers. And uh, we'll see what happens. Last night at work. Now over there, there's some more maples. There's some sugar maples just up into the woods there. I'm gonna tap. There's some down here too. So. Oh wait, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I got eleven. And I got ten up top. It makes uh, 21, so 21, 21 buckets so far, oh wait, 22 buckets. guys i gotta go get ready for work uh tomorrow we'll get some of that sap ready then i gotta work on my bulk tank there it was leaking around the spout that comes out so we'll check it out okay guys we're uh january 12th i believe today is uh we're back to you know, put nine buckets down in the bottom meadow area, wooded area. So here we go. We'll check out these other buckets while we're on our way down there. I don't think they flowed very much. Got pretty chilly. So sun's supposed to be out today on and off. Might warm up the trees, get them running, get some more sap. And it, hopefully uh, it'll be uh, making some steam sometime this weekend, hopefully. It's a little chilly out today. So remember guys, anybody can do this. If they got maple trees, you can do this in your backyard you know you just you have to collect more sap but yeah other than that let's go over here and check out this bucket here oh yeah yeah that's half full
The other ones, the other ones for my one, I only got one left here. Oh, this is a big, this is a big, big one. This one's flowing. Might have to put two buckets on this one. Yep, see that? That one's flowing, guys. That's good. Oh yeah. There we go. There. So we put out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put out eight. Eight more. That one, I'll probably put another one on.
Okay, guys, that's how we uh, tap maple trees here on the Jack Homestead. Pretty simple. Anybody can do it. Give it a shot. See what you think. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button and the little notification button there, the little bell down below here. Uh, that'll notify you if uh, we have any more uh, new videos up here from the Jack Homestead. Now, we don't just do maple syrup here, too, just to throw out there. Mrs. Jack has a garden, and uh, pretty soon we'll be starting to do that here in the next couple months. So uh, the next video up is going to be uh, how we cook that down to get the syrup. So again, thank you and God bless and have a good day.